means I can go ahead and get this rack pushed back, take down the table, get some new shelves set up. Looking forward to getting this done. Well, I'm going to get a path cleared so I can walk around and start moving some plants back onto this shelf, finish filling it in, break this one down. I have this shelf on sliders here, so I can go ahead and just scoot that right back. Plants are moved. The idea with the, maybe I should set the new rack up before we talk about it too much. I'm gonna get this taken apart, which that should be fun. It's a lot of interesting jerry-rigged lighting. I don't think it'll be that bad. It's going to be more a matter of keeping straight in my head which lights go where onto the next rack. It seems fairly likely that some of these lights may not work when I go to set them back up. They've gotten kind of old. I replaced a few of them last year. I want to say six out of the ten got replaced. Or no, four of the ten got replaced last year and the other six are still fairly old. One table down, one to go. Okay, last one. And then I have to figure out what, it, what I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with the lawnmower. That's a problem for another time. Who cares about that right now? Probably time for me to go ahead and get this put away. And then I can bring the new shelves out and have a look at how those are going to fit in here. Get those put together and I should probably clean the wall back here since that hasn't been in a few years, but let's be real here. This doesn't sound like something I'm going to do. Well, this is going to be awkward. Something happened. Brought the box out and noticed something on the side. What's that say? 36 by 24 by 80. That's, that's not what I ordered. Getting the new shelf is going to take a week. They don't have it in store. So uh, this was fun. Wait one more week and hope that they show up on time. Says they won't be here till Friday. And yet, you know, these videos come out on Saturdays. So in order for that to be a part of next week's video, it has to show up on Friday. So I'm going to get to ordering the new set of shelves as soon as I'm done with this filming right here. I'm so sorry. Forty eight, twenty four, eighty six. That's better. Mild setback, not the end of the world. <laughs> Can pick back right where left off in last week's video. Still have the, the lawnmower still. I don't I don't know what to do with it. It's Fine. The lawnmower was fine underneath the old set of shelving that I had over here. It'll be fine underneath the new set. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Maybe I should be using two hands for this part. Well, if you didn't catch on theme of today's video, finishing up some unfinished business. Got to get those shelves set up so that I can get all the plants off the ground. Not all of them. Huge plants are staying on the ground, but I have so many little things that have been spread all over the place, partially because there was construction with the new windows that went in over here. So I had to pull everything out and then get those tables knocked down. Yes, I, did I, re, did I replay it? Did I do a good job? Everybody know what's going on here? It's fine. We can talk more about it after I get these things set up. But a long time I've been waiting to get this done and uh, I am looking forward to it. least graceful unboxing ever. Just want to get this done. I measured them. They're the right size. You know when you have something that's just been dragging on for a long time and you just, you're over it. I'm over it. Here, I got the sleeves and the connectors. There's little pieces in here to make them not move up and down on the poles. Directions, which these shelves are pretty self-explanatory, but I'll, I guess I'll read them. Okay, everything's impacked. Got my pieces. Pieces sorted out. And this is how it's going to be. I'm just going to start sentences and not finish them. Step one, screw four pieces leveling foot E into bottom of each lower pole B and snap the plastic clips D into the grooves of each lower pole. It's the same position. Make sure the arrow of all plastic clips should be pointed up. These right here go on the each side of each pull. They go together like so. This is not, come on camera. I don't have time for your sass today. There's an arrow that points up. Shelves rest on this along those poles. Okay, these all look the same. I don't know. Is there a is difference? I don't think so. Pardon the background noise from the heater. It's like, uh, I think 27 degrees outside. So while I normally would turn the heater off, I don't think it'd be a good idea when it's this cold and it's just going to keep getting colder. I have to try and hold the heat in this space while I can. Looking at the audio monitor, it's not, uh, it shouldn't be too bad. 
Usually audio stuff is nowhere near as bad as I think it's going to be. So if that background noise is bothering you, I apologize and you know, I don't know, just try and get over it. See, the only reason I want to double check and see if there was a difference in the polls is because they are listed differently. There's four, part B and four is part C, part B being the lower polls and part C being the upper polls, but they, Look, I did, they can't be identical though because they have different parts. Ah, but they didn't label them. Sure, why it should be up to me to figure out which is which. All right, I'm going to assume that the ones with this little hole that's in there, it's not gonna focus. That's probably the lower part because I imagine that's where the little self-leveling, this right here, the little piece that you can level the legs out. I'm going to assume that that's what that's about. And I am glad that these have that option. Most nice shelves do because this is a garage. The floor is slanted this way, this way, so water can run out. So in order for the drainage to be proper on the shelves, I do need to make sure that the back of the shelves is just a smidge higher than the front. Not by much, just a little bit. It's not that it's hard to figure out which one was the upper pole and which one was the lower pole. I'm just one of those people where I like to take all my pieces out and get them organized before I start putting things together. And when they're not labeled, that's just one extra step and it slows things down. I am thinking a lot of this probably isn't going to be in focus because there's no lighting over here because I had to unplug the lighting for the shelves to get put up. Cameras really appreciate light. So I'll make sure that that's all up and looking better when the shelves are up with the plants and things on them. I keep la I feel bad, I keep laughing. I'm not gonna show. I can't show you. See my neighbor outside getting their mail. It's really windy and it keeps blowing these big cardboard boxes of theirs out into the street. But they're fine. It's not a big deal. It's only a couple boxes. Here's where the fun part comes in. I have to start the lowest shelf just above the lawnmower. Because the what there's gonna if you haven't figured it out, there's gonna be a lawnmower stored underneath this shelf. There's really no other place to put it. Even though the oil and gas is drained out of it, I don't think I want the fumes right around the plants. I don't know, they were around the plants before and it was fine. So I don't know why all of a sudden I think that that makes a difference. Sometimes these pieces tend to slip out from where you put them. So I like to snap them on usually right in between the rung where I want it. So there's these little grooves in here. I want it just above that so it'll snap into the right spot. When you go lower, then that's usually too low. Count the rings and do the same for the other four. Slide the first shelf on and repeat until done. I don't, are you guys interested in watching the whole process? If it gets interesting, if like something goes horribly wrong and that would be entertaining, then I will be sure to turn the camera back on. I guess I'll get the first shelf on and then we can move on. One, two, three, four up. I think that that should be right. Let's double check it, or even better, just to be safe. I'm just gonna line it up with the other one. Slide it into place, it should snap in there and repeat. First shelf, is this, this metal's gonna be loud and obnoxious. I'm gonna try and not make too much noise. Just have to remember, I have to go from the bottom and up with each one. Nice and snug, like a glove. That's perfect. Was any of it in focus? I hope so. Another one up here and then uh, get the last one in. I was doing it slow so that the metal won't be too tingy through the microphone. Metal and microphones, bad combination pretty much the gist of it. Just going to keep going with the clips, space the shelves out how I want them for the plant spacing. I don't want a lot of shelves on this. This is mostly for larger plants. So I'm, uh, I'm probably, I'm, I think I'm, so I'm probably gonna have some extra shelves here. Whatever the case, cut back here to finish shelving. Here, hopefully very, very soon. For you right now, but for me, hopefully very soon. Huh? Okay. Made some progress here. I'd like to say it was easy, but you yeah, know, things just tend to not go as they should. You can see there are two shelves right here on top of each other. That's because the metal on this hole right here is bent. It's at an angle. So when I went to put that shelf right here, I was lowering it from the top all the way up there, doing whatever I could to get it to lower down evenly, this end of the shelf would not it just no matter what I did, it was not going into place. And then it ended up just being stuck there. So I did the most practical thing I could think of, which was to grab a mallet and beat the crap out of it until I could get it to fall all the way down. Took the clips off first and then it just, I was able to get it to fall all the way down, but uh, it's, it was not going to go over those clips. I could have maybe definitely taken this pole off and just slid it off through there. But I was like, you know what? This is just, it's extra stability. This'll work. So I only needed two shelves anyways. This is 
four taller plants, so it didn't make sense to take it all apart just for that. It's fine right there. This is a drainage reservoir that is made to fit right perfectly into the 48 by 24 baker's rack. It's got the lines and the grooves in it for drainage and a separate area right here that's lower than the rest with a couple spots to drill out. Could just use it as a drain or as a recirculating aquaponics, hydroponics, however you want to do it. There it is on the top shelf. Easier to see. Bottom care 24 by 48 inch. I could come in and cut out this portion of the shelf so that this will sit down level in there. I met, I don't, I just, I'll figure that out when it's time to set the, up the ebb and flow kits. That's the drainage system that will run from the top down to the bottom into a reservoir and then pump the water back through. That's if I do an ebb and flow. Either way, there are gonna be drains put in. Right now, I just made sure things were sloped. I mentioned that when I started putting this together was to make sure that this back end over here was just a smidge higher than the front so that the water will move this way towards the drain. It's just, I only did it by a hair. Really, it probably ended up leveling things out more, but that's fine too. I didn't do that on these shelves over here and that the drainage really hasn't been a problem. Just figured since I had done it before, maybe learn something from that process and try and get things done a little bit differently. I know, it's only one plant. This should hopefully give the idea of what was supposed to be happening here. Larger plants can now get up and off the floor. I used this power palm, which really could use a heavy drink and some pruning. That's the case for everything out here right now. This is what I use for scale when I was deciding how high to set the next shelf up. So I figured this is probably going to be about the tallest plant in here. With lights hanging right here, I am going to have to make some cuts here, but as you can see, that needs to be done anyways. Need to do a lot of cleaning up on that one and give it a really big drink. Move that and get the lights set up. Just typical shop lights with LED grow bulbs on the inside, nothing fancy. I have some S hooks that I'll use to get them hung up there, get them plugged in and start moving plants onto these. Okay, moment of truth. Got one and two, both still working. That's what I like to see. Nice thing about LEDs, if these were regular fluorescent tubes, I would have needed to change these out. Got to change those like every 10 to 14 months or so. These, as long as they're on, they should be good. If you notice some dimming down, they need to be changed out. So this shelf right here, good to go for plants. Up here in the ceiling, I, uh, oh, I got to figure something out up there because this one needs to be turned so it can chain into this one. These lights all can plug into each other. Or I should say can plug 10 of them up to 10 of them in together. So I need to flip these around so that they can plug into a different, it's a puzzle. I have two more lights to go up here and it's just, I got it. I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna figure it out. You know, I, the top shelf, I think that's gonna be a two person job. So I have to get up the big ladder and I'm going to need another person on another ladder to help pull some chains around. So this is, this is fine, made progress. I'm good with this. Even just this one four foot shelf right here, four by 24, that's going to provide enough space to get a lot of plants up and off the ground. Can squeeze a whole bunch of plants onto here. This is, come on now, what did you, you're all over the place. Just found an orchid that's been missing, tangled up inside the epipreneum. This might be too big, but it could use a prune, see how bare it is down here, so that's, it's fine. God, these poor plants have been sitting in the dark for like the last month waiting for these shelves and for those windows to get done. I shouldn't say dark, like there's been some light, but not as much as they would have been getting if they were over here to begin with, how they should have been. This is just, that's just dormancy. That's what this one does. It kind of goes to a rest, looks like crud for a while and with the lighting and everything, it should pop back up. Oh, Mr. Freckles, my favorite croton. Oh no, I'm sorry, Mr. Freckles. Not. I don't know. I don't think Mr. Freckles is going to fit there. It's the Freckles Croton might actually be better on the top shelf. One, because it's surprisingly lightweight for being as big as it is. It also isn't very demanding of light or much water in the wintertime. It needs some, right? You got to keep it alive, but it's not like some of the other Crotons, you know, like just the regular Crotons over there. Not very picky at all. And the top shelf is where I want those kinds of plants to be. That's why I also have the... Uh, <clears throat> Pseudoranthemum, that's up there too. It's in dormancy, that's why it doesn't have many leaves on it. That'll get a prune. Freckles will get a prune too. I probably shouldn't really do that. I, why am I, no, I can't put plants up there yet. Yeah, bottom shelf only. That's also probably where some of the alocasias will be going that tend to want to just chill 
and not be babied very much during the winter time. I'm gonna keep an eye on this one. This one is a black coral and not black coral, uh, electric sapphire, sapphire gecko, one of those from Brian's Botanicals. And uh, I haven't overwintered one of these in a long time and it's supposed to be a new and improved type. So I wanna see if I can keep it going like with some kind of vigor during the winter. If not, that's fine. Like I said, just give it a cut back and it can go on the top shelf with the other plants that just prefer to kind of hang and not do much. Like this Dracaena, that'll go up on the top shelf when it's time to get the plants up on the top shelf. I feel like there should be a few more things that need to grow over here. It's another elephant ear type. This one does also like to stay on the drier side during the winter time. It's got the spider mite stuff on it, the stuff for the beneficials. But if it's on a shelf, I don't know, I just, I kind of want to see what it's going to do. Obviously there's not much to look at right now. It's got some spindly growth on it. This is a pretty cool one though. Special Acacia Vietnamensis Fat Chance. That's a fat chance me being able to say that name properly. The hybrid between a Leucacacia uh, Gigantia, the Thai giant, and I believe an Alocasia Portadora, I think. Had it for a long time, if it ever does anything impressive. I'll be sure to show it and can talk about it some more. Okay, what do we, I know it's not a drastic change to y'all, but for me, huge difference just having these up and off the ground and knowing that I can fit probably another six plants, larger plants up there. Some of them are going to be plants from this shelf on this side. By moving some of the larger plants that are over here, none of them are huge, but like the black coral that's over there, getting that over in a few others, I think that what I'm going to be able to do, hopefully the idea here anyways, is to be able to lower the shelf down, bring the shelf below it down and have another shelf up top. I have extra racks because I only used three, really only needed two for this one. So I'll be able to add an extra shelf on this side for smaller plants, for props, starts, those sorts of things. And I'm getting a lot of stuff off the floor, which is nice, especially because next week, like I think seven or eight days from now, it might be down to four degrees outside, which means all the mule palms and windmill palms, there's still a lot of plants outside. Those all gotta come in. So getting the plants up off the ground, like there, this was over here was full all the way out a few feet with the stuff that I just put over there. So this is open now. I have some hibiscus over there that I need to move over here because they'll get better light. And then the more cold hardy plants that spend most of the winter outside will be over on the other side of things, which y'all can't see right now. I'm not showing you. There's been all the construction stuff going on in the house. So there's stuff everywhere out here from in the house. A lot of stuff that's being donated, some stuff as holiday things, gifts for people. So it's just that side of the garage. Disaster. The whole garage is a disaster right now, but considering everything that's been going on, it's not too bad. Or at least steps are being made in the right direction. I'm looking forward to next week's vlog where I'm not going to be in a pinch to get things done very, very, very quickly. Hopefully I included it in the beginning of the video when I was replaying the stuff from last week, but this didn't come till today and today is just one day before this video comes out. So I can't give the nice long vlogs with a whole bunch of stuff going on. I'm gonna go ahead and give everything out here a water, pop inside the house tonight, see some of the animals. I know y'all like to see them. And uh, after that, it's probably just gonna be time to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye now because I have a feeling I'm gonna forget later because I'm gonna be <laughs> frazzled trying to get the rest of the lighting stuff figured out out here and getting this video done so y'all can watch it. When I try and have the videos out, I'd like for it to actually be out on time this week. All the stupid stuff that's been going on been throwing my schedule off. And that's probably not fun for people who want to watch the videos either, not knowing when they're going to come out. So hopefully we're back to the 11 o'clock schedule for Saturday videos, 11 o'clock central time. Thanks for hanging out. Hope y'all are doing well, having a great day and a great life. Everything's just going beautifully for you. I'm feeling good right now. This is a step in a direction where I'm going to be able to get a lot more stuff done out here. I even have a special humidity cloak that fits over this one with a zipper on the front so I can turn this into like a humidity cabinet for aeroids and those sorts of things. If it turns out that the humidity might be more difficult to keep up with here during the winter, that hasn't been an issue so far, but we haven't had extreme cold, like temperatures below 20 yet, at least not for a prolonged time. I have a feeling when the heater's running more consistently, it's probably gonna be drier out here. So I'm gonna be glad to have a space where I can keep the plants that need the humidity nice and high. Look at that leaf. Getting bigger and bigger every time I see it. All right, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye bye. Oh, well, look who showed up. Pumpkin's here. Pumpkin, you say hi? Hello? Nothing? Okay, well, maybe overshot there, got overexcited. Anybody else's home is just like completely upside down, getting ready for the holidays right now. There's just so much stuff. That tree was not meant to stay there, but it's been three weeks, so I think 
I think so the tree's probably gonna stay there. Some Toby time. People keep asking about Toby. He's fine. Just sleepy old man. Say hi, Toby. There he is. Yeah, that's very nice, Turbo. Good boy. Sit. Have a seat. Show everybody your outfit. Look at you and your nice looking threads. Looking sharp, Turbo. Got the tree up. Not decorated yet. This is probably loud and obnoxious. This is the thing. Look at the fun. This is my favorite part about the tree. You just push the button. Wait for it to go. It takes a moment, so I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on camera. I don't like when the stop changing colors. I don't like that. Just pick a lane and stay there. Look at it. Yeah, isn't that fun? Stop changing colors. Just be white. That's fine. Come on, keep going. No. Is it going to stay? Yes? No? Isn't that fun? You see what's happening in there, right? The, the tree's growing. Isn't that cool? Oh. <laughs> Sometimes you have to pull it because it hits the ceiling. Okay. That's good. Love this tree. I think it's called a growing snow tree. Pretty sure. Had it for a few years. Holding up pretty well. Doesn't need to be shaped. A little bit of fluffing right there, but it's nice because I have nine foot ceilings and there's not room up top for an angel or a star. So with this, I can just put it down just a smidge. Just push the button again, boom. Eight and a half foot tree. Perfect. I know, nobody asked. That's just some of what's going on here. 